Hey guys, hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. My name is Natanya. Um, this video, oh, uh, gotta clean these windows. Okay, so what I'm what I'm starting to do in is like do a weekend recap because what what JB and I tend to do is that on the weekend either Saturday or Sunday we just go out um, just to different areas, spend time together. You know, me myself and Jack, me me myself. Myself, JB, and Jackson just hang out, have lunch, something, and I'm just I'm just capturing those moments so you can just you guys can be a part of it and see how we hang as old people. Um, but overall, every time we go out, our theme is to find something unique just to add to a home. Um, I'm constantly changing. I'm constantly wanting to do something different, and that's okay because I feel like just being here. For almost three years in this house, I'm nowhere close to being done. But honestly, I don't want to just put anything in my house. I'm just trying to find unique things that works with our style. But yet still, even though we are shop at the same places and very similar things, I'm just trying to find those small things that's different to kind of just, you know, stand out. And that's what I would suggest you guys do as we shop at home goods, TJ Maxx. Um, Potter Barn, Crit and Barra, What's M, Wayfair, wherever. Just try and find unique things that's going to make your space look a little bit different. So, so Potter Barn, we went to Home Sense, we went to the vintage store, we went to Crit and Barra. So you're going to see just a little footage of how we we're doing some things. And then I'm going to show you some things that I purchased. I'm going to show you a DIY project that JB did for me. I'm going to show you an update on our dining room, which I'm standing right now. So keep on watching. So, I love to buy cover table books. There's just something right now that's just, I, I love it. I just love it and that's what it is. But I saw these ones, it's very unique. I've not seen them before. This one says, complex sneaker of the year. Now, my boys and my husband love sneakers. When I tell you they love it, they love it. So, when I saw it, I was like, they talk about the, can you see it? The New Balance 576. I'm into sneakers too, but not as much as, as they are. Um, like, come on, the, the Air Force, Air Force Max. I mean, and all these sneakers right now, sneakers are hot. You know, the Air Max. And it, it just talks about the idea when it was discovered and it's fun to have so i'm going to put this in the basement and i feel like the boys will love that no nike the dunk book um this was 14.99 the other one this was 19.99 and even as i'm collecting books i'm very mindful i just try to get books that my family enjoy uh, when friends and family come over, they can also look to have a good conversation. Uh, if you're into sneakers, you, you're very much familiar with these sneakers. I don't know them all. All I have, what is it called? G-Force. G 
G4, G Fezos. See, talking about. Then, Crate and Barrel. Crate and Barrel. So I didn't buy much. And as we were out, I don't know if I ever told you guys this, but we have a media room in our house. And if you guys, if you guys been here for the longest time, you remember that I used to have a brown leather sofa in our family room. And then we kind of switched it out and brought this section up from Z Gallery. Now, I've been wanting to get rid of the brown leather sofa for the longest while. I've tried selling it. Nobody's buying it. So I just pretty much come to determine that, you know what? Let me keep it for a little bit. Let me see if I put some new pillars on it, paint the space. Cause right now with the media room is just the builder grade um, color. So I'm thinking, my, I'm thinking to myself, well, if I paint it or wallpaper and really style up a little bit with the leather sofa, maybe I can re-fall back in love with these pieces. Because in all honesty, I think your media room, you want to be very cozy. I don't want light color fabric in my media room just because I'm okay with, you know, my husband and boys eating and kind of lounging there. So having the leather sofa would be good. But ideally, I want like a cognac color. But I don't know. So let's see. So now while we're out, I told JB, let me get some new pillow covers and see what I can, see what we can come up with. Just to see if we can use the sofa. So my inspiration for the space we saw was this pillow cover from Potter Barn. I saw it because in part of it had also a brown leather sofa style with this pillow and it looked really really good um they used oversized pillow in the chair so it wasn't like those small pillows this is so good look at it look at that it's just it is it's just giving me that worldly feel um, it's a little, it's a little bit masculine. It's not too feminine, but I love this. I love it. And I think this would be nice on the brown leather sofa. So the cover itself was $45.50. If you want to get an insert, it was $20, but I just got the cover because you got, I told you guys, I'm not buying no more insert. So this is the base. This is the inspiration. So I was thinking, get a blue texture wallpaper. On wallpaper the entire room right ceiling everything will be wallpaper then I will get some really rustic wall sconces put it on there and then on the back of the media room that's where we have what is it called the box that have all the light the panel the box that have all the controls to the house so what I would do in the back would put like a nice curtain wall like a nice velvet curtain wall um behind the sofa that's what i'm thinking that's what i'm thinking and then this then what when i got this i see you know what i don't want to have all this color on the meat and in the sofa so i did this yeah tell me hold on this right here is from crate and barrel Listen, <laughs> this right here, look at that. It's a blue velvet. It is so yummy. This was $30 for this and both of them are 20 by 20. But y'all, look, do you, <laughs> look, do you, look, oh my gosh, look, do you, hold up, do you see it? Do you see this? Oh my gosh, on my shirt. Do you do you see? Do you see this? Do you guys? I get excited when it's, it it just comes together, and I get excited because sometimes I get so fearful of spending money, especially because I try to. What's the word? Sometimes I get so like, I know what I want, but then sometimes I get so nervous to spend the money to get what I want. But then I, com but then I complain when it don't look the way I want it to look. 
But yeah, listen, listen, Linda, Mary Jane. Listen, look, look. That's not all. So while I was checking out with this from Potter Barn, JB then comes to me and said, babe, what about this? I said, hold up, bro. Let me see what you're talking about. The difference with this one and the other one, this is more, this has a nice velvet soft feel to it. The, the other one is more, it's not velvet, it just having a more um, natural feel to it. So this right here, so I got two of these. I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But, you see this one right here though? It has a different shade of blue in it. Didn't thought about that. But, as I'm thinking, what I would do is... I just don't know. You see, I love this with this. And I want to mix color and I want to make, I want to make, I want to go really, really, um, I think outside the box with this space. This is not, this is not bad. This, it's not, it's not off. I'm going to try to put it together so you can see, but even if this doesn't work, and I feel like it could though. I really feel like it could. Just because it's still in the same blue family. I feel like it could. I feel like it could. But if this doesn't work, because what I wanted, what I didn't want is to have the exact same color. I really want to just go like, you know, mixing the pattern, mixing the texture. So let's see. This is still a this is still a maybe. This is still a maybe. Because I could use it somewhere else because it's this is it's that good. But we're gonna see. So so far, I have two of this. I have two of this, and I don't know if I show you guys, but the back of this also have a nice linen finish as well. But definitely, yes. Maybe if this don't work, then I will get something. I I'll, I'll probably get more of those. Or some more. I don't know. I I just, I just love it. I'm loving it. So while i was in potter barn jb keep on convincing me natani if you love it buy it simple <laughs> lot of mercy oh my god so if you guys don't know um gucci is one of the first luxury purchase that i've made for myself a gucci handbag is it a handbag yes yes that's one of the first luxury luxury purchase i made for myself so to me it had it has a nice um sentimental I'm, I'm i'm very much it had a sentimental meaning to me a personal thing right and i saw this in um in Potter Barn, right? It was a hundred dollars. Yeah, it's a hundred dollars. However, um, they didn't have it in the back, so this this is what they have and I I don't like to wait for stuff. I do not like to shop online because I want I want I want an instant gratification of taking it home, play with it, use it, move on. So because it was the only one they have, the manager went ahead and took ten percent off this one. Just because you know have it, it was in the store, so people touch it and stuff like that. But it is so good. It is so good. I didn't even see what the cover looked like. Get, get, get into it. Look at it. Look at that. Look at that. Um, it talks about, of course, the making of Gucci. I think it's a good book to have, especially if you're really into designers. Yeah, um, it is my goal to finish up do a custom closet for myself and i feel like this book along with my louis vuitton book along with my christian duo book would be nice accent pieces in my closet 
as I pair them with the bags or something. Yes. So this right here, not necessarily a home decor inspiration book, but if you're into luxury, luxury item, this has more meaning to you just to know more about the brand. Um, listen, I know these brands are not perfect. Trust me. I'm very much aware of it, but I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm really getting to love fashion and really getting to kind of know more about the brand. So it's a personal thing for me and I love it. No. The next thing I purchased, I have one already, and I love it. I, I, I love it. Okay, I love it. Um, this is I got this from Potter Barn. Um, this is a acrylic book display. These are, in my opinion, these are the the little things that you do, you purchase to elevate the basic things in your home. So this is one piece and the same thing with this piece. This was the only one they have in store. The manager was kind of take another 10% off. So yes, it's so good. So um, you put it together. Okay, hold up. okay so this is how you fix this this is how it's look right of course i got it cleaned up because it has a fingerprint on it then you put your cover table book on it i'm gonna use the gucci book as an example hold on it's the little things for me i want to find like a nice picture in here Hold up. I want to find a nice picture. Hold on, guys. Oh. Y'all know Gucci started off by doing travel bags, right? I just feel like this would be nice. Oh. Guys, I don't know. We're going to lift it up. But it, it, look, it just gives some height to the book. It's a nice little, I think it's a nice little touch to it. It really is. Um, one side is split, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna insert a picture, a clip so you guys can see it. Okay, but that's all the stuff I purchased this weekend. I'm gonna show you the thing that JB DIY for me in the dining, in the dining room. I still need to get curtain. The thing I'm thinking about is because the window right here where I'm, I'm working on right now to kind of finish the dining area, it faces my neighbor's house. It's not a privacy issue for me, but I just want something at the window. So I was thinking, just just get some nice, I was thinking sheer, just because the wall is black and here I don't want to darken the space. So I was just seeing that nice long sheer curtain with kind of a um, brass, um curtain rod so i'm gonna show you that and i'm gonna show you the piece right here honestly when we went out this weekend my goal was to find a beautiful um vessel whether it be vintage or something more modern but i didn't find any so i'm using something temporarily right now for this just to kind of get a feel of how it look so let me show you guys don't forget to um comment and subscribe tell me what you're loving so far link suggestion to what you would like to see more on this channel i'm looking forward to it i'm excited about the the growth i thank you guys so much for just your constant feedback and we still got a giveaway going we just went to get to 2k and i keep on adding more and more so once the giveaway comes you're gonna be like natty you do too much and i do it's okay um let me show you okay okay guys so this is a piece that we had for a minute um we got this piece from home goods and it was damaged and we took the doors off and jb had painted it white but no i decided i want to do it black before i go and buy something else i want to see if the black piece if this in black will work for the space if it doesn't work then i'm going to resell it you know or just donate it so you know me i'm not a big diyer 
so i'm going to use this brush along okay so what jb is doing we're doing the first coat and then afterwards because i don't want to have a lot of lines on top we're going to use a roller to roll out the second and third coat just to make sure everything is smooth and just look really really perfect as i mentioned later on i'm also if i decide to keep this piece i'm going to have i'm going to protect the top with some glass covering and this is the first coat um and i am using the sharon william tricone tricone black and guys this is guys, me trying to do something to here your pieces. looking if you're getting crazy if you're tired of it this but, is another budget yeah, friendly i was trying to be helpful can do if you don't like it resell it or repaint it or restain it but don't just throw it away especially if it's real wood this piece came from Bassett Furniture, but Home Goods was selling it, and it's a good quality piece. So hopefully it works for the space. If not, trust me, I'm selling it. Okay, guys. So this is the piece that JB DIY. It's not gonna stay this way, honestly. Um, yeah, here my my house one right. Like I wanted something tall right here to give some height, and it's gonna be green. It's gonna be like green we coming up the wazoo um i'm going to get if i decide to keep this here i'm going to get glass cut to put on top just to keep it from scratching up i want to style the bottom with white white pieces aren't off white and bringing some gold i'm definitely keeping my restoration hardware ball but everything else i would just spin around to see how it looks that's what i'm thinking so tell me if this works and then picture you know the um brass or gold rod and then the curtain hanging floor to ceiling and then we also going to change this out to something gold or brass i'm really trying to pull out those color and bring them down that's what i'm thinking so tell me below keep or sell it I'm leaning towards keeping it just because it fits perfectly in the bay window. It doesn't come out. That's what I'm thinking. And I think once it's styled up nicely, it will work. Um, these are the things I just show you. I'm really thinking about also maybe selling these chairs and getting something more contemporary. Not so much this type of look. You know, that's what I'm thinking. I want to get some style at the top a little bit more. I'm still loving this. This is not going nowhere. And baby, she ain't going nowhere. So I want to just kind of work on this and get this done. I don't know. Maybe I, I don't know. So question, should I keep these or should I sell these? And then that. I'm really leaning towards... Um, selling them to get something different something different so that's it okay guys that's it let's have a good and healthy let's have a fun conversation in the in the comment section below um don't forget to follow me on instagram and also on tiktok those things are linked in the, in the description um i don't know how else to say it but thank you thank you all so so much and i see you guys in the next one bye